I am furious at the Kentucky Derby. Now, y'all saw me on, on Friday. I had my, my Derby gear on. I had my Derby gear on. And we, we talked about it. We talked about how you should watch the Derby. We talked about how the Derby is fun. I went to a Derby party. I can tell you this right now. I will never go there to watch the Derby again. I mean, the Derby's are all about pomp and circumstance. Listening to what the they're talking about, listening to the race, the analysis. This party had music going on. Didn't let you. The, they had two screens that were within ten feet of each other. They weren't signed, synced up together. One was like five or six seconds behind the other one. It was absolutely ridiculous. Good people, bad derby party. What are you going to do? All I know is my horse still running. Unbelievable. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. I had just a touch, as we talked about, finished dead last. Absolutely dead last. I, I just, uh, holy mackerel. So, and how many of you all get into the Derby? Here's the thing. There were 156,000 people there. They had more people in the infield, which the infield caters to the young crowd. So how many people actually get into the Derby? I know people think, oh, maybe it's an older generation type of a thing. I'm from Louisville, so I get into it. So I I'm in on the Derby. Fastest two minutes in sports. You don't even realize. First of all, those horses they were they were jogging out there on Saturday. The winner was at two oh three. Two oh three. Lord have mercy. For a mile and a quarter for horses that's jogging. They're out there jogging. Come on now. And I knew they were jogging. I was like forty six at the half mile marker. I'm like, oh man, they're not even trying. But my horse just a touch. Dead last. But the race was phenomenal. A photo finish with three horses? Absolutely phenomenal. You know, Mystic Dan coming out of nowhere, had the lead and had to hold him off. A, a, literally another half stride and he loses. A, another half stride, he loses. Sierra Leone, the porn star, came on at the end. Forever Young was right there. All of them just saying, we want, we want this. We're trying to win. We're trying to win. Couldn't get to the finish line. Mystic Dan, the winner. But that's the kind of racing I love. Right down to the wire. Right down to the wire. But how many of y'all like the Derby? How many of y'all were in on the Derby? Let's just, let's just get this question going. How many people were in on the Derby? Yeah, so much tradition, so much to like. I'm just in on the Derby. It's fun. I told my wife, why didn't we go? Well, it just, there was no reason that we didn't go. We're going next year. And anybody that hasn't been to the Derby, I'm telling you, make it a bucket list type of a thing. Make the Kentucky Derby a bucket list thing and go. Just go. It is a great time. It's an all-day party. Everybody's having fun. Like, you've never heard of, oh, man, these people are fighting at the Derby. And there's gambling. When have you ever heard of gambling and no fighting? Nobody's, nobody's mad at each other. Nobody's doing that. It is just a day where I can dress up crazy, look good, go out, do a little gambling, do a lot of drinking, eat good food, and have a good time. What else do you want at a racetrack and watch a bunch of horse races? Just a great time is what the Kentucky Derby is. A great time. And I loved every single second of it. My man, Matt Hasselbring, Mystic Dan, rode the rail to victory. Yes. And it looks like my man, he drew him in the dollar pot at the Derby party. See? We got our winner on here. April H. Love the horses, hats, jockeys, and energy. It's definitely a bucket list. It is a bucket list. 
So, my man Ruben, what's going on, Ruben? Definitely fun. The best part is being so drunk that you don't feel the law. There you go, Ruben. There you go. Now, there, there's a man that knows how to do the Kentucky Derby. You know, you get so drunk, you don't need – the thing about it is they make those drinks at the Derby. They make – I mean, it's all – it's either all bourbon – like a, a mint julep is bourbon, sugar, and mint. And they make it so good that you can you can't taste the bourbon that much. You get about two or three of those in you, and it's party time. It's party. You got to be careful. You got to be careful because they sneak up on you, and they will bite you in the ass. But it's a good time, man. It is a good time. I like I said, love the people that had the derby party that I was at, but I can't go back. They were more into playing music than they were about the actual horse race. And I'm like, what What are we doing here, people? What are we doing? I mean, all day has led up to this moment, and we're not going to get this right? Okay. I love you, but, yeah, we're going to – we're we'll, if, I, if I don't go, I'll watch it at my house with the wife, with the wife and dog. That's it. That's all we'll do. So, But I told you how to – and I, I even – I was like, look, man, this is how you watch the Derby. Y'all saw me the other day. I was like, this is what you do. The race starts. You just stand up. You got your drink in your hand, and you stand up. And I did that. But then there were people talking about, oh, well, their kid doing this. I'm like, you can't pay attention for two minutes? We can't just watch this for two minutes? We can't be involved for two minutes? Apparently, we couldn't. And in Literally, I looked at my wife and she looked at me. That's when you know you have a wife that gets it. And she goes, yeah, we can't come back here. They're, they're not into the Derby. I'm like, no, no. But I thought it was a great race, man. I thought it was a great race. Photo finish, down to the wire. One of my buddies, I told him, get your kids involved in the Derby. Give them a horse to root for. Two of their horses finished second and third. So they must have been screaming. They're little kids. I said, get them excited. They must have been yelling, screaming. <laughs> That's how you watch a derby. Every right down to the wire. Scream. Yell. And what better time to yell when you got three horses and it's by a nose? By a whisker. It wasn't even a nose. It was a nose flare. I mean, literally another half stride and we have a different winner. Another Matter of fact, another half stride, the winner comes in third which is wild, but it was a great race. Great race. Again, a bucket list type of a thing for people. If you've never been to the Kentucky Derby, if you haven't been, I'm telling you now, you should go. You And however you want to do it, whether you want to get box seats, if you want to pay big money and go and sit in the air-conditioned rooms, if you want to go to the infield, whatever your th- druthers are, that's what you should do and make it a good time. Because it, it'll be it. You just go with the time. You know what? I'm going to go and have a good time. You will have a good time. I don't care if you lose every single race. You're going to have a good time. That's just the kind of party that it is. That's just the kind of party that it is. Again, I'm partial because I'm from there and I love it. And I had the opportunity to take my wife a couple of years back, one of the best – and I've done some sporting things in my life. I played in a Big 12 championship game. I played in a Fiesta Bowl. I played twice in Indiana High School State Finals. And if you don't know anything about Indiana High School Basketball State Finals, the first year, my sophomore year and junior year, it was 30,000 people. We played in the Hoosier Dome. That, that's how we played basketball in high school. I've done a couple things athletically. Been a part of it, I should say. This ranks right up there. Going to the Derby ranks right up there. So, good time to be had. So, again, if you haven't been, make sure you make it on your bucket list and you go.